Okay, so apparently there's no research to be done on this one, like in my What Kind of Mushroom is Toad video. There is an answer. They're shiitakes. But in Japan, their literal name means chestnut people, so let's talk about that instead. Put simply, if they were real chestnuts, how big would that tree be? Based on my very serious smart lady research, I have determined that Goombas are usually about half of Mario's height. Now, assuming that Mario is the short king I know him to be deep in my heart, that puts him at about 5'5". Five, five. Turn that into inches and we have... Each chestnut is about 1.5 inches tall. The tree at full maturity is about 40 feet tall. Put that all together and we have an 866 foot tree. Is that... Is that a lot? That feels like a lot. Well, let's consider Hyperion. Hyperion is the single tallest tree in the world. This awe-inspiring tree is so treasured and protected, its exact location is not publicly known. Goombas are occasionally much, much bigger. This is the aptly named Mega Goomba. I estimate him to be about four Marios tall. Convert our units, cross multiply, find X, I'm sorry I showed you math, please don't swipe away. And we have a 6,933 foot tree that the Mega Goomba presumably came from. Now that seems like a lot, but is that like how high airplanes fly or the bottom of the Mariana Trench? The Burj Khalifa! Tallest building in the world, jewel encrusted monument to man's hubris in defiance of both God and gravity. It is 2,717 feet tall. My scale bar is now meaningless, so here's the Mega Goomba tree next to Mount Vesuvius. Now, admittedly, Mount Vesuvius is not a particularly tall volcano, but still, it's a tree as big as a volcano! Okay, so Mega Goomba trees are big. Big whoop. Yeah, big whoop in carbon sequestration potential. Trees, as I presume you know, store carbon, that byproduct of modern industrial life we keep farting up into the stratosphere. And since bigger trees, broadly speaking, store more carbon, just how big of a carbon sink is the Mega Goomba home tree? Now to get to the big juicy research paper on this episode. Above ground biomass dynamics and growth efficiency of Sequoia sempervirens forests. Now this paper was not specifically about carbon sequestration, but for the sake of this exercise, I'm just gonna say the whole weight is carbon. So according to their research, a big old honk in redwood like this, this one is like 700 and something years old, it's about 320 feet tall. And it weighs 246 metric tons. So if the Mega Goomba tree accumulated mass in the same way that redwoods do, and it wouldn't, not because it's a fictional thing that I just made up, but because it's a deciduous tree and that screws up all the math, then it would have a total biomass of 5,198 tons. And that is equivalent to the annual carbon emissions of Goldfield, Nevada. It's about 350 people who live there. And so for Goombas to solve climate change, we simply need to instantaneously materialize 173 million Mega Goomba trees. Dude. But in the end, it doesn't really matter, because Goombas aren't chestnuts. They aren't shiitake mushrooms either, that's a cover-up by Big Tendo. They're chaka rooms, and in your heart of hearts, you already knew that.